These instruments all come equipped with an FFT spectrum display mode, which allows you to easily view a signal not only in a time domain, being shown here normally in yellow, but also in a frequency domain. In order to access this, you can do this through the quick touch menu at the bottom by pressing that and then FFT, or you can press math, and then your math channel you wish to use, and then your operator, you can then select FFT. And then within here, we're able to select our source and we can turn it on. And what we'll see here is we'll start to see a um, frequency response of the signal. So let's go ahead and dive into this a little bit more. Let's now go into more and let's change our scaling. We're looking at a one megahertz square wave, so we don't need to go up to 500 megahertz. We can in fact change this. Let's go to 10 megahertz. And we'll see, if I exile this, we'll see our main signal and then our multiple odd harmonics afterwards. Let's turn our menu back on. And within here we can easily then change our offset and scaling if we wish. And if we go into more, we're able to change our scaling as I already showed you. And we can also say, if we, let's go zoom this out a little bit by changing our horizontal display. We're changing our RBW setting down here in the bottom as we scale out a bit. But we can now go into our peak search, which this can allow you to easily then find multiple peaks. So in order to do that, you first turn it on, then you go threshold, and then you're basically saying a trigger point with this dotted purple line. And once it's below, you'll actually see your five peaks that are being displayed on the screen. You can also then go back in the options and then press more and you can actually add a color view, which basically shows you your probability of each sort of frequency per, for the signal, which is another useful aspect that is normally only available with spectrum analyzers, but is also available on your oscilloscope as well.